Hey everyone, Wentz here. I put together a boss kill video clips for you guys showcasing the Mortem throw build. It has all four guardians, Hydra, Chimera, Minotaur, and Phoenix, Uber, Ziri, Zaro, and Argus, and a bonus clip of Minotaur for uh, with the Echoing Shrine. Here is a Phoenix. He has a uh, Tem Chain, which doesn't affect us thanks to the Count's Root. He also has increased life and AoE. As you can see, there was a Bearer Pack, well, a uh, Magic Pack that spawns it to kill that off before doing Phoenix. Uh, as long as you put him on a ball like in Trap with Wither Totem, he dies relatively quickly. If you don't want to do this kind of playstyle, you could do a Pierce instead of Slow Proj. This is a uh, minus max res, more monster life, minor Minotaur kill. Uh, again, he is very easy if, as long as you don't get hit by his dig or his one shots. You just face tank him with ball pack up and you could kill him relatively quickly. Next, we have a Chimera with Temp Chains. Again, it's an effect this because of the comms root. Alley weakness, mm, I don't think it really matters besides the adds. Uh, the boss also has life and AoE. Chimera herself is easy to tank thanks to the ball pack, but the ads can be uh, dangerous because of uh, min range of uh, slow approach. So you just have to come, uh, kite around, DPS around, but just face tank Chimera with uh, Wither Totem if you can, and put a ball lagging trap on her if you can. Uh, here we have uh, Hydra. Hydra herself is uh, the most hardest or the most annoying boss out of the four guardians. 
she is immune to poison just like Chimera. However, she can't be face tanked like a Chimera can. She will walk around. She will weave. You have to dodge around her, dodge around the balls. So the returning projectile is a slower uh, a special throw. Will not return all the time. Therefore, your DPS is um, almost halved or around there. But she herself is very doable. There is no issue if you're good with dodging the balls. If you do the mechanics, you won't have any issues despite doing no poison damage. You're in on hit damage, you could leech through most hits. It's just that you have to be careful not to get combo, especially with a 5.5k life build. Have a Uber at zero kill. This is on a six link uh, with the uh, Chen, Chan twenty one twenty out of chaos and all the good end game gear. I did not. I was not able to find my five link first kill. It was pretty much the same. The Uber at Ziri herself is one of the easiest one out of the three fights you do. The trios are a bit more risky if the Chaska rains on you. Just dodge that. Have your water totem decoy. Uh, maybe. Pop the rain of arrow before you move in. Uh, for the balls, they are a bit more risky if you don't if you kill the first one too fast because this has a lot of damage and there are times that I kill the first one too fast and the second one enrages. So what I suggest is to either weaken the first one to half HP, maybe you know one or two special throw, and then the second one you kill it and the first one will spawn with half HP and then you finish it off. Uber Zero herself is really simple. Use a vault lagging trap, use your power charge, uh, Jaws of Agony to prep for the crits. So you can see right here, I pop Wither, vault lagging trap, pop my flask, and uh, pop a few ST and she will die. And then you do the same thing with Azir herself. Um, use a Basalt flask so you don't get one shot up by the spear because you are a life build. But this is a very um, simple fight. Argus kill, very simple, but then Wither, 1 to 3, and he goes pop. Um, just make sure you avoid getting hit more than once or twice if you are worried about getting one shot at because he could deal 5k HP un during enrage. And here we have a Zaro with a triple essence and a triple conduits, and he is very strong, but as long as you dodge everything, you'll be fine. This clip is a Echoing Shrine Minotaur kill, just for fun. This is when I had a Gaul 5 link, but the Gaul made the duration last longer, so I had to be able to carry it to the whole map. And you can see here the, the damage of uh, Echoed Spectre Throw. It's just for fun. There you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed the boss montage video I made. And uh, hopefully um, my next future builds can have the same success.